O Thou eternal God, who art our Father and our friend, as you have heard these words of promise just spoken, may the Holy Spirit deepen in the mind of this man and this woman the sense of this sacred and binding power of their vows. And as thy name, thy words were spoken to make these lives one, may your rich blessing be added. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle upon their shoulders. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. so much joy and I truly love spending my time with you. We've had our ups and downs, but we've always made it through and come out stronger than we were before. We complement each other and force each other to grow as a couple and make each other strive to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. I don't take the commitment to marry you lightly. I know you don't either. Marriage is the second most important commitment one makes, second to a commitment to God. It's a promise to each other, to God, and to our circle of family and friends that we commit ourselves to each other and will honor and be faithful to our marriage for as long as we live. As we enter marriage, I promise to always love you in sickness and in health. I promise to always love you in poverty or wealth. I promise to always love you in sorrow and in joy. I promise to always love you and be faithful to you in our marriage for as long as we both live. You are my soulmate. You are the person who completes me and loves me for the person I am. I love you for who you are. Your passion for helping others through counseling is one of my favorite things about you. You truly desire to help the kids you work with even when times can be difficult. I love your passion for Africa and the people of Kenya. I can't wait for the day I get to travel there with you and see firsthand the joy of you on your face when you work drink therapy to people who need it so badly. If all your positive personality traits weren't enough, you're incredibly beautiful. 
I keep pictures of you in my locker at work on my phone simply because your beauty brings me so much joy every time I see you. You are so incredibly out of my league and are definitely the better catch. I can't wait to wake up next to you every morning for the rest of my life and start each day with that same joy. Proverbs 18.22 says, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. You are without a doubt my good thing and having the opportunity to spend the rest of my life with you is all the favor from the Lord I could ask for. I love you, Leslie Murray. I'm so glad you said yes when I asked you to marry me. And I'm so thankful that I get to stand on the altar with you today and say I do to marrying you. We've had an incredible journey so far, but the best is yet to come. Love forever. To the moon and back, your husband, Matt. This day is finally here. I have prayed for and dreamed of this day ever since I can remember. Even as a little girl, I can remember praying for the man I would one day marry. I pray about what I hoped he would look like, what I had hoped his personality would be like, and for God's protection and guidance over his life. Meeting you has been the greatest blessing in my life because you are and always have been the future husband God designed for me. You are a man of God. You are honest. You are faithful. You are strong, you are loving, you are patient. You are the man I have prayed for, hoped for, and waited for all of these years. I will never forget the day my heart found its counterpart. In you I have found someone who raises me up when I'm down, someone who embraces me when I need comfort. I have found someone who makes me laugh when I want to cry. And most of all, I have found someone who leads me to God when I'm lost. You are my absolute favorite person. I have never questioned your love for me because it constantly pours out of you. So today I promise to be your friend, to comfort you in times of struggle, to celebrate and laugh with you in times of joy. I promise to strive to be loving, caring, and forgiving. I promise to continue to seek God because he will continue to strengthen our relationship and marriage. I promise to love you and to give you the daily gifts of touch, time, and words of encouragement. I will listen closely to your needs and honestly tell you my own. I'll be faithful. I will work to not take you for granted in our day-to-day -day life. I will strive to do my part to take care of myself and you. I will work with you to build our future. I promise to respect, respect your dreams as much as my own. As I walk down the aisle toward you today, I want you to know that I believe this walk is so much more than a formality. Each step represents a step in my journey that has brought me to this moment with you. And today, I am reminded of God's faithfulness in leading me to you. I love you, Matt, and I'm so excited to be this journey is supposed to be in life. Love all of us. But therefore God has joined together, let no man put us in. For as much as Leslie and Matt have consented together in holy matrimony, and have witnessed the same before God in this company, and have pledged their love and loyalty to each other by the authority given to me by the state of Missouri do pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Lord in Jesus Christ. Matt, you may now eyes, kiss your bride. I see a coming to life It is my honor, joy, privilege to now present you Matt and Leslie Basham. I 
was yesterday, Leslie's first day of school, and I was driving her there, and I was just sobbing, and I'm crying, and she says to me, she looks up at me and says, Mom, you have a lot. <laughs> Come up with you by my side 